Hey everybody, so today we will be installing the subframe collar kit on my 2011 Genesis Coupe Turbo. And if you enjoy this video, please be sure to comment, like, and share it, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And this is the Enthus Spec subframe collar kit. And I ordered this from genracer.com, and you can check below in the description to see the link to their website. Definitely check out genracer.com, they will set you up with pretty much any performance part you need for your Genesis Coupe, so definitely check them out. We now have the front end lifted, and you want to do this with the front together and the rear together. That way you're not lifting the car up at any weird angle. And following along with the instructions this kit came with, there's two different bags with the collars. One bag has all four spacers, which are the same size. That's going to be for the rear. And then the bag for the front has two of them that are different sizes. We're now under the car, and this is the driver's side front wheel. The first bolt, you will see right up here. And then the second bolt is right behind the sway bar. It's the pink one. And then here are the four collars for the front end. The fronts are both the exact same size. And then the two rear bolts, the smallest of them all, is going to go in the rear of the driver's side. And then the second to smallest is going to go in the rear of the passenger side. So we'll go ahead and remove these two bolts and then install them. All right, so we now have the first bolt out, and here is the collar. All you have to do, slide the collar right on the bolt, and then reinstall it. And here's a closer look at the hole that the bolt was in. You can see all this uh, scratch mark there. That's the play that we're actually seeing in the entire subframe of the vehicle. You can see how that opening is bigger than the bolt. So all that play is definitely what you don't want, and that washer is gonna fill that gap nicely. So with that collar on, we'll go ahead and reinstall it. We now have the washer in and we torqued it back to 80 pounds and you can see it there. And you can see actually the kind of scratch mark on the subframe, that's where the play was and now that's gonna be eliminated. Now we're working on the rear of the front bolt on the driver's side. And with the bolt out, Take the washer again, which this is the thinnest one. Just slide it right on. And then we'll go ahead and install that. So now with the front end done, we've gone ahead and lifted up the rear and we'll go ahead and start working on the rear. And to start for the rear of the vehicle, we first need to remove this black bracket right here. We have two 14 millimeter sockets that will need to be removed right up there. And then another back to the normal 19. So we now have that first bolt off. And now just the second one is just a nut. And now you have this entire bolt with this whole bracket off, and you're just going to go ahead, slide the washer right on, and then reinstall the bolt. And now for the rear of the rear bolt, just going to go ahead and remove it. And before we can put this washer back in, actually this side goes in nice. The other side, actually we had a little issue. We had to just push this up a little bit. And we just used the car jack to lift up right here, which was able to put this back up tight so we could get it on. So we went ahead and put the washer on and reinstalled that black plate. And now that's torqued up to 80. And with that bolt on, we've completely finished the install for the rigid collar kit. The driver's side is identical to the passenger side except for the two washers up front. And with everything retorqued, the car is done, and we're able to now take it off the jack stands and test it out. And I'll write in the description how I think these rigid collars perform, and from what I hear, they should do a really good job of tightening up the entire suspension. So thank you all for watching, and please be sure to subscribe to my channel.